Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. O Lord, may thy hand lead us. O Lord, may thy hand lead us. From the unreal to the real. From the unreal to the real. From darkness to light. From darkness to light. From death to immortality. From death to immortality. May all be happy. May all be peaceful. May all be peaceful. May all be enlightened and cultured. May all be enlightened and cultured. May all attain perfection. May all attain perfection. May peace be established in the three bodies of man. May peace be established in the three worlds. May peace be established in the three worlds. May peace be established everywhere. May peace be established everywhere. May truth be our religion. May truth be our religion. May service be our worship. May service be our worship. May knowledge be our breath. May knowledge be our breath. May world be our family. May world be our family. May yoga be our way. May yoga be our way. May our eyes see happy and noble things. May our eyes see happy and noble things. May our ears hear. Happy and truthful words. May our ears hear happy and truthful words. May our tongues be sweet and truthful. May our tongues be sweet and truthful. May our bodies be divine instruments. May our bodies be divine instruments. May noble thoughts come to us. May noble thoughts come to us from all corners of the universe. From all of the May we never leave God. May we never leave God. May God never leave us. May God never leave us. Om peace and love. Om peace and love. Om peace and health. Om peace and health. Om peace and wisdom and light and light. Om peace and light. I would like to welcome everyone here this morning, Yoga Shakti Mission Sunshine Lecture. Uh, this morning, um, we have Montague with us. And um, the subject of today's lecture is uh, Christmas joy. Thank you, Mark. Would you like to speak first? A few words. I'm delighted to see you today. I'm glad to be here. And I, you know, experience a great deal. Uh, in life, you know, like you mentioned in your in your in the chanting that we ought to achieve enlightenment and uh, the world be uh, our you know our friend, our family, and this is what is being now you know enlightenment and family. You believe and that, isn't it? I believe, yes. yes. I do believe. Mm -hmm. I believe wholeheartedly, two thousand percent. <laughs> And uh, now I I have a lot to learn if I keep my mouth shut. So <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to listen to you. Gerda, <laughs> do you want to speak? She's no, speak not really. Your... I like to listen to you. <laughs> speak about your mysticism. Uh, where does one begin to speak about that? <laughs> Fifteen years worth of experiences.
chance to speak on Christmas. I, I look forward to Christmas because of the child in me, I think, and it probably brings the child out in all of us. But most of all, I think I like Christmas because there is a definite spirit that people open up to in everybody. That it's a time for opening our hearts, and um, even if you walk down the streets or in the mall or anywhere there's a there's a different feeling and uh, I think it's because people have opened themselves they're, they're in the giving of themselves and it, and it takes that Christmas uh, time to let ourselves open up and uh, I think it's really beautiful in the I'm from Canada and, and there's a an Indian tribe in Canada on the coast that whenever whenever they would get too much accumulated wealth, they would have a giveaway, and they would have a big party. It would last for day, a few days, and they would give away all their wealth. And this was uh, just the standard thing. And I think it's really beautiful practice, and uh, and it's nice that that we at least uh, experience that in some small way. But I think the most important thing is that it gives people a chance to give of themselves and to open their hearts and to share the joy. And it and I think it it really is. Uh, an important event, and I think we see it in probably all cultures, but most familiar we are with our own Christmas. Certainly Christ was the, um, I think, sent to earth to teach us love and to help people to open their hearts. And um, so it's really wonderful that we have, it, have an actual time set aside where we can experience that love and, and that giving. And so... Uh, I really enjoy it, and I'm glad everybody here is to hear us share that same thing. Om Shanti. Thank you. <laughs> One thing I've seen in every culture that I've been blessed to be a part of is that when you have an excuse for giving, people give of themselves in a joyful manner and they feel better about themselves. In Mexico, um, of course, Christmas is uh, insanity incarnate. You know, uh, it's just the, the holiday of holidays. When I went to India, it was Diwali, and uh, I couldn't believe the transformation that came over people. Everything was scrubbed, everything was clean, there were lights everywhere, there were firecrackers everywhere, everyone was very, very joyful, and uh, just the spirit of giving was a part of the heart, and you could see it. And now I see it here with Christmas. Uh, finally, we have an excuse to express ourselves as loving beings, and the whole heart goes into problemo, and we think we love Christmas, or we think we love the or we think we love whatever the holiday is. In actuality, we love the soul, which is ourself, and is a giving being. And we use the excuse of Christmas or Diwali or whatever the culture's uh, holiday is to express that lovingness to others. And that's why I like Christmas, that's why I like Diwali, and that's why I like anything I do. I have every excuse I can to give away little presents. I saw Judy with her sack of presents. <laughs> and Margie last night had to be Mother Santa, you know. Um, we all love giving. We all love to be that effervescent soul that just has an overflowing of love for and us. you give up your carrots. And I was beautiful yesterday. Pardon me. Yeah, and that was beautiful oh, yesterday. Was so it was so sad. It was such confidence. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get a sleep prepared. <laughs> 
know, um, I'm all, I always have to say, first of all, that I'm honored to be in my guru's presence. And it's very nice to be here with all of you. And Christmas is a time for loving each other and showing it, I guess, by giving of oneself. Not just presents, but I guess time to each other. And um, I hope this Christmas time and New Year's time brings everyone lots of health and peace and happiness in your home. Thank you. That's all. That's enough. Anna, 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 will speak. Anna, can you talk about this? Yeah. yeah. Come on. How did you like Christmas yesterday? Just one. Yeah. Come on. Come here. Can you see it? Okay. Okay, you picture her. Vishnu, she's showing us Christmas here. Can you sing? Sing a song. Get the oh, come on, come on, come here. Come here, I'll give you one. Come here, you're not shy, though. I don't believe in shy. Alright, come here, sing a song. Okay? Christmas song. What song you want to sing? Hurry up, hurry up. You are being pictured. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what she sang yesterday. Which is not Angel. Not today? You tell me, I thought you could pray now. Okay, Ed, you want to speak a few words? No, oh, what? Yeah. Okay. I've spent one Christmas in Germany and one in Australia, one in Sicily, one in England. Good. <laughs> And as you go from one country to another, you notice that it's all about the same. It has the same philosophy, the same joyfulness, and the people are all working together in harmony. And of course, it's the same here in the United States. It's just a nice season of the year. Thank you. Very good. Dan? Yeah. <laughs> well, I love to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I would certainly agree with everyone that's spoken that it is a, a joyful season, and it's, uh, as everyone has observed from their travels, uh, it manifests, manifests itself throughout the world for a variety of obvious reasons. And uh, as for myself, it's been a pleasure to go from being a child enjoying it to being a cynical young adult <laughs> and to being a father myself and seeing my children enjoy it. And although I don't understand it completely, it certainly is a joy to have the great. You did day. understand when you were a child. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Peace about it. So, uh, so it is indeed a joyful season. It's always a pleasure. Very good. Okay. And then now, uh, Judy Carl. Welcome. I'm sorry I missed your program last night. I was really counting on it. But my son, Brett, who a lot of you know we've been having shaky problems with, uh, came home and his van blew up on the turnpike. So we had to go rescue Brett. So he's back home. We had a lovely evening connecting, at which time he explained to me that he had an enlightening experience. That the light had reached him and he was filled with light. He, nothing spoke to him. He doesn't know what it meant. But we're praying that he will now, it will be revealed by God what this means and what path God has for him. So it was a beautiful time. He's calm and he's home. And that's my greatest joy. Maybe you know that my son was killed at Christmas time in Sri Lanka, my oldest son. And this year we had a program at the hospital for people whose children had died and they were having a very hard time getting through the holidays. And I gave a little talk and I explained that my son is not dead and he visits me occasionally and what goes on. I really stuck my neck out and I said, if anybody wants to hear, you know, they can talk to me. So the chaplain talked to me afterwards and said it was very interesting and he told me some of his experiences in the hospital with people who have died and he told him what happened when they went to heaven and good and bad experiences leading So we had a good connection there. So it's spreading, you know, if you put your neck out a little bit, I think things come back to you. And as far as the ashram and being here, 
As a little kid, I always had funny feelings that I didn't belong to my family, that I was adopted, I was an orphan, and I didn't belong to this mother and father. And I still feel that. They were very strange, and I didn't fit in. It was incredible. But here, it seems like you're my family, brothers and sisters and mother and aunt and everything, and I'm really grateful to make the connection that I truly feel this is my family. And thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. You are left. <laughs> Last but not least, Steve is still there. Well, I was hiding. But... <laughs> well, I can only speak um, for the um, for myself and and the rest of us here who you have. Speak for your family also, Shama and Purnima and, and then and John. Um, as as we've all concluded Christmas time is such a, a joyous time uh, in the um, in the uh, environment of so much um, I think singing and um, uh, merry making or um, even beautifying um, your environment uh, lighting it up and bringing trees from outside and putting them inside so that you can see them more and um, um, this celebration, as uh, some cultures like to uh, identify festival times, uh, times to celebrate. Um, I think that celebration and that uplifting your your spirit and and your uh, your whole energy uh, as as it manifests in an activity, maybe of of giving or of singing or of just merrymaking in whatever form it comes, I think that escalation or that um, enthusiasm is one of the grassroots um, feelings that maybe Lord Christ had in mind uh, in, in coming to earth. And um, I think that uh, even uh, in that it, it uh, historically is a celebration of a, a birthday, um, we can um, we can uh, carry that feeling maybe through through the whole year and um, and focusing on that um, special feeling that we feel at Christmas time uh, more frequently throughout the year to maybe make more festivals. Um, enjoy the Hindu calendar in that respect. That there's so many festivals. <laughs> and um, uh, I would just like to say welcome again to everybody and uh, I'd like to see everybody this time. Thank you. Yes, Steve. When I close, hold on. Yes, you want to do? Um, one question I always pose each Christmas time, and I guess it happens as we go older, is everyone's so loving and so kind and gentle around Christmas time, why can't we be that way all year long? It's, it's, it's obvious that we can do it for, you know, a couple of weeks out of the year. Why, why can't, why can't, you know, the whole world get together, the whole world comes together at Christmas time. Why can't we come together uh, all year long? And, and that would be a wonderful thing, I think, to have Christmas here, Christmas Day, 365 days of the year. I think that would be so beautiful. And I think the feasibility of it happening in the future, uh, I think everyone is, everyone's consciousness is growing and everyone's stri really striving for that to happen, but it's just going to take time before the whole world um, moves in that direction. And one other thing too, it's for those of us that have children, I think Christmas time is a really extra special time because when you're an adult, you so much, time goes so fast to begin with when you become an adult. And as you grow older, I guess it goes faster and faster and faster. And each year Christmas comes, and you, it's just not the same as when you're a child, but when you have children, it's, it's, it's really incredible, and you forget how excited you used to be. And, and my son Tyler is five years old, one and six, and you know, once a few people put out Christmas lights in the neighborhood, he was like, well, where, where, where are ours? So and dad, get them down, you know, you know you just pull them down, get them out. I want to get them out, you know. Let's get let's get a whole bunch of lights out. Let's get let's get a tree. Let's do all that stuff, you know. And each year, you know, he's getting older now. It's a lot more excitement in it and the presence and everything. It's really interesting to see. So it is a beautiful time of the year, and like I said, I would just like it to be that way every day. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No.
महादेवे महादेवे शिवाये सततं नमः नमः प्रकृते भद्राये नियता प्रणता स्मता मेरी क्रिसमस टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड टू माई सेल्फ ऑल्सो आई एम ग्लैड टू सेलिब्रेट इट एंड energy behind was shama she organizes every year very nice she prepares the children can somebody take it very good very good and she is very patient with children i saw her being very patient teaching them and conducting the whole stage or whole show and varuna also becomes like a child he goes on decorating and jumping and jacking himself <laughs> this is true that child is in each and everybody yesterday when i was being driven to somebody i mentioned that everybody every man is a child within himself nobody is grown up probably we never want to grow up because we always want to be child to get attention and to give attention everybody wants to give attention and get attention it is very true because something in you needs to manifest then you give people because giving helps you to grow spiritually body grows by taking but the spirit grows by giving the body is sustained by putting something inside or giving to it but the spirit go, grows when you give more the more you give it grows and it will bring you closer to godhood or your divine self by giving you become free and this is a beautiful festival and i can see that two festivals are combined into it because as i learned that lord christ he went to india for teaching so he moved a lot he went he must have gone from teacher to teacher he must have observed all the traditions and things and his teacher must have told him to go back and teach your people because that every teacher does that when you have learned enough you go out and spread that joy everywhere give that teaching to everyone and he returned and he started preaching to me it is very interesting that you Lord Christ was Jew. Is it? Anybody yes. is Jew here? Yes. Che, yeah. you are Jew. And you? Oh, Christian. Christian. Arabian. Catholic. Yes. <laughs> he always worshipped in synagogue. He never felt himself that he is going away. But uh, he was one with his people. He tried to teach his people, own people. something which was good which will bring hope to mankind which will bring joy to mankind but followers make a division of something then followers became different and they will say that we are christians suppose christ uh, uh, was son of god he came to give blessings to people or bring joy or he was the hope of humanity then he brought to people who were existing at that time at that time who were alive he gave the message to them that know that your father is there or god is there and always trust in god never fail your father never uh, disbelieve him and i am very happy to see that every dollar bill in america says that we trust in god means we have to look ahead if we always think of about ourselves we are narrowing ourselves thinking all the time about one's own self it brings narrowism we become concerned only with ourselves we never go out and see how the world is beautiful the whole world is beautiful the whole world is a grace of god and one has to come out of it yourself out of the shell and see the whole beauty around which is the grace of god god is everywhere in each and every form it is his grace and saints and sages come here to remind people they are called saints and in ramayana if you study 
we will find that Lord Ram said that consider saints and sages more than me because they are more than me. I am hidden. I am unseen. God is unseen. God is above somewhere. He is very subtle. He cannot be seen but he can be seen by his messengers or saints and sages or sons of God or Christ was the son of God. He came with a message of the father that father is in heaven or there is a divine power and we must trust in that power. That power has created us. How can we distrust? One who creates, he promotes us. He takes all care of the person or the being or the object. When you buy a house, you take care of your house. When you buy your food, you take care of your food. When you buy anything, you take care of it. One who creates, he takes care of us. And this is a very important message that we must trust in God because he has created us. We didn't create ourselves. Though we say that we are part of divinity, but at the same time, everybody should ask a question. Have I created sun? No, we use the sunlight. We move, we enjoy the sunlight, but we have not created the sun. Did I create moon? No, I didn't create it. I enjoy this moonlight, but it was created before me, before your arrival, it was there. And the power which created sun, moon, forest, river, or five elements, the sky, earth, or so many galaxies or planets, that power is known as God. Call him Christ, call him Mary, call him Durga, call him um, Judah, uh, Judaism, call uh, Hinduism, call Durga, Mary. To me, it doesn't make any difference. But we need to remind ourselves something. And that's why celebrations have very important role in our daily life. Children will enjoy it. And it is a form of education. If there are no celebrations, they will not learn many things. By celebrating something outside, away from you, not sitting always in one corner, but coming out of yourself and celebrating so that everybody can share. This helps a lot. And celebrations are very important. Though I read many articles that some people are very lonely in Christmas. Some people don't enjoy it. And it could be because maybe they are sick. Maybe they never got the attention of people. Maybe they never enjoyed the love uh, of their father and mother. Maybe they never enjoyed the friendship of, of people. If we are not friends, if we are not loving to each other, then Christmas may not bring any joy to anybody. It has a message to love everybody, to give yourself to everyone, be one or be a part of the whole, be a part of the whole society. And this is very important. Since ages, this teaching has been um, given to mankind. In Sanskrit, we call it Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. When I propagate that world is my family, actually I am not propagating anything new. And I believe nothing was propagated ever new. It was already there. But we go on repeating ourselves. And when we repeat, when we feel that we have achieved something, it is called Yog Shakti Mission. It is called this or that or that organization, that organization or so many names. If religions are many, it doesn't make any difference in human heart. This I realized when I walked out of my country. I felt a divine grace that God wants me to see the, the other side of his face. Just like in Bible, it is mentioned that if somebody slaps on one cheek, turn the other. But that is in a different sense. And I think that I saw one cheek of God. Now he wants to show me the other cheek. So what is the other side of the earth or world? You go and see. And it is called Vishwarupa Darshan also. See the whole universe as the face of God. The whole universe is nothing else but his face. His, when you see a blooming flower, beautiful flower, you feel that God is there inside it. When you see the smile of a child, you feel that God is there. Who is a smile? Child doesn't know. But something is behind. And that is a smiling. And that is the face of God. The face of God should be seen in each and every one. There may be many doubts in the mind, but those doubts have to be cleared. Those are blocking stones to teach you how to climb, how to cross, 
how to overcome. And if there is anything which mind doesn't understand, yeah, mind has to solve it. Mind has to know it. How to practice it? How to do it? If it is a stumbling block, even then it has come to teach you something. It is not a stumbling block, but it has sacrificed itself to be called, to be blamed as a stumbling block, but it has come to increase your height in stature. When you step over it, you are higher than before, and it helps you to grow more and more. Nothing is a stumbling block or nothing is against us. As long as we feel against others, they react or we react. Actually, everything comes from within. Nobody is against, nobody is uh, unclean or nobody is not, uh, nobody is bad. But when we react in different ways, we begin to feel like that. Actually, everybody is beautiful, everybody is good, everybody is nice, and we need only a little handling which course we want to go. We have to decide a course. Even if we don't decide a course, still will be like sunlight. But when you direct it through the convex and concave glasses, then it uh, minimizes or expands or it is concentrated or scattered. And to scatter, if you want to scatter yourself, you are welcome to scatter yourself. If it doesn't give you pain. And if you want to concentrate yourself, you are welcome to concentrate. If it doesn't hurt you. But both can hurt also, both can give you joy also, because it is nature, it is a part of nature. How much you want to spread and how much you want to be thin or you want to concentrate on something, this is given to man to decide. Man is blessed because he can choose. He has been given mind or chitta and he can formulate or he can manipulate, he can maneuver things as he wishes to. If it is all healthy, happy, you, can, you have all rights to do it. But if it is going to hurt you or anybody or society, it is wrong. This is the definition of sin and virtue. If it is helpful and healthy and beneficial to you and others, it is called right. But if it is beneficial only to me and hurting others, it's not right. If it is beneficial to others and not me, that is also not right. Then we have to find a medium way where we can enjoy ourselves also. And at the same time, we are letting others also enjoy. When we are together, we are one in soul, in body, in mind, in spirit, in everywhere. If you challenge, then I will explain it more. But I feel that we are all part of the same. I feel very happy. Okay, I'm sitting like a grandmother. All children and family are there. <laughs> this is my family. All are my family. All our brothers, all our sisters, at least this service we can do. Uh, there will never be a big hall where we can all accumulate. Because I was thinking before sannyas, could, uh, is it possible that we can all get together at one place? <coughs> I've seen multitude. There you get nervous. You know. uh, so much mob power is there, so much loud noise is there, so much uh, people are there that you cannot manage that stock. They are like uh, animal stock or herd or the whole multitude is there. But we cannot manage anything. We cannot get to them. We cannot communicate to them because it is so much like sands on the beach. How many you will count? You can't count it. And we are also like that. God has created so many beings, so many things, so many uh, varieties that sometimes mind gets tired of that also because the little brain cannot assimilate, cannot accumulate. Then we gave us only five fingers, not many. With little hands, whatever we can do, that is enough. With little feet, how much we can walk or we can give or do, that is enough. And with these eyes, whatever we can receive and enjoy, that is enough. God has made us limited so that we can enjoy, we can be human beings, not equal to God. Because I wouldn't like to be equal to God, probably if we become one with God, God cannot have a parallel. God is God because he doesn't have a parallel. He should not have a parallel. That divine God is God. 
and that is the supreme power which is the father of each and every one but i would like to say mother of each and every one why only father mother also or neutral also he is mother and father both we are all one but sometimes we create something at that time it is very helpful when it is created or designed in those times it is designed to solve any problem there must be existing some problem and at that time a solution is sought and designed and that helps that may be oh worn out for us may be outdated for us sometimes we cannot because at that time that was the situation historical background and it was designed for that but later on it may not be needed at that time the people were required to be in tribe to protect themselves because another tribe might have been attacking them then be close together be one with each other so that you can fight back you can survive but now nobody is going to attack anybody therefore we shouldn't have any thing like survival kits we are open god is great or we are very blessed that we are born in 21st century where everybody can travel by plane if people have different religions i accept the variety or enjoy the variety but when hate comes division comes i cannot stand it why can why should why do we need to hate in anybody no everything is beautiful every rose is beautiful every flower is beautiful and we have to understand it because there must be some divine reason why we are being brought together i think modern science is bringing everybody together in that way in when you work you have customers of different religions isn't it dan lawrence you can, you don't deal only for them but some people will deal okay i will deal only with my people of my religion not with others then this narrows us and science is going to bring us all together it is going to open everybody's heart for commercial reasons you have to be together for other reasons you have to be together for many uh, more reasons could be there that it will bring you all together and we are being brought together so that we can learn to appreciate each other and that is my christmas we enjoy christmas we celebrate it so that our hearts are open and to jesus christ to the birth of jesus christ is the birth of a baby and bringing joy to every heart it is a combination of two festivals of india one is known as krishna janmashtami which is celebrated at 12 o'clock at night midnight and krishna was born the name of christ and krishna is very close to each other and life also to a certain extent it is similar but when stories travel from one land to another it undergoes many changes we go on changing like i have changed many things of hinduism i don't follow all the hindus and christian people also do not follow all the christian we i know it because many things are not being followed when it is happening or it will happen we cannot stop from happening uh, time changes people change and needs are changed therefore we have to change everybody is changing and diwali is another cele- celebration which is celebrated for joy only for joy victory then both are combined in christmas light also and birth also. usually we celebrate birth in august uh, dark fortnight and uh, birth celebration and diwali is celebrated uh, after the monsoon when monsoons are over and new crops are to be sown or harvested something at that time it is a very great festival in europe when people migrated to other different lands and they had the cold climate then traditions have changed a little because it has to suit to that country or maybe lord christ was born at night and it must have been cold i don't know about israel whether there is snow or no snow does it snow there right does it snow jerusalem is snow as they call the wind in snow And I call it the law. You know, he didn't born in Christmas because it's very cold and it's not. He was born in uh, during the in August, during yeah. the uh, you know was uh, warm. So it was outside. He was born in August. August? He's really? 
Yeah, and they changed the holiday to man. Yeah, the they they had had uh, uh, Hanukkah, Hanukkah, that's the festival of lights, the giving, yeah, the and all goes to be celebrated and the miracle. Because we, uh, Hanukkah is the first miracle I uh, ever recorded in history. Mm. You know, was the, uh, the 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 freedom of religion. Because the Jews fought to have the to be free to worship God the way they they you know was taught to to worship, yeah. and the Syrians clearly didn't want to uh, destroy the the, the Jewish yeah, religion yeah. like the Romans did. The Romans actually destroyed the whole temple, finished, broke. Okay. But the Syrians didn't. The Syrians only wanted to um, uh, assimilate. They they wanted to just to, to uh, make the oil unpure, unclean, and by putting something that was you know uh, the oil that was kept uh, uh, perfect with the seal and and pure, they broke the seal and they put something inside and they stick their fingers or whatever you know to make unclean. And uh, uh, so when the Judah the Maccabee revolt and uh, said enough of this, we're going to you know. Stop that. So, uh, the one was a miracle to win. How could a small group? And there was the high priest, him and his seven, and his, uh, his seven sons. That is, you know, the high priest cannot kill. That's against, the, you know, the, the whole belief. Mm-hmm. And they, 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 they kill and they fought and they won. And when they won, they went back to the, uh, uh, to the temple. And that because they couldn't use the, the, uh, use the oil again because it was impure, by a miracle they found a little small tube of oil that could be been uh, uh, used for one eighth of a day. So they lighted that and, uh, and it last for eight days. Now, why, you know, the oil takes only one day to make the oil. But they, uh, they couldn't make the oil because the high priest had fought the war and had touched the dead, so he was un, un, uh, unclean, he was not pure. So he had to wait eight days to, uh, again, to make himself clean and pure so he could make the oil. And the oil did not only last, you know, so that's why the, the uh, you know, the eight days, one day, one week, right? One day for the the miracle, and it lasts seven days, and then one other day, uh, it lasts eight days in the completion, eight days. That candle, uh, mm-hmm. Jewish symbol. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it, the menorah. Yeah, okay. And this had in the temple, the menorah was in the temple, and was uh, God told uh, Moses to leave lit all the time, the lights to burn continuously. And, uh, and then they used to keep with olive oil. And uh, by less than, eight, less than eight, eight days, it was enough time to purify, to have clean oil, and they began to restore the temple to, uh, uh, to the, uh, you know, the way it used to be. So this was the first uh, case in history where men fought for uh, religious freedom and they, they won. So it's a miracle of Hanukkah and then you celebrate by giving presents and a festival of light so you bring the light not only from our house but the light the outside to, to, to bring light to the world, to the darkness, bring Let light into the darkness. Let us have a rainbow of religions. <laughs> rainbow of religions. All religions are ours. I, it is yes. We all with the same uh, with the same. I mean to to enlighten, but you know to to bring uh, to to bring lightness into the darkness, to bring the 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 the, the, uh, the you know the wicked into the hands of the righteous, and uh, so the righteous can uh, uh, teach them you know to be righteous also, to be the whole world to be enlightened by the uh, the the great uh, and the the light of God. Uh, we are celebrating Christmas now because that is Christmas season. Christmas and Hanukkah. Hanukkah, the last day be Tuesday. Yeah. Now, because the, 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 the Hanukkah comes exactly the 25th of Tishrei. The 25th of Tishrei, that sometimes, that, you know, our calendar is, the, is, uh, is, big, uh, is not the Roman calendar, mm-hmm. but it's very close for a couple of weeks difference between the right days. So 25th of Tishrei, 
was what is compared the 25th of Christmas. That was that time, the, the day, the correct day, the 25th of December. That's the, the miracle of a uh, thing of, uh, of religion and, uh, and, and, and that's why I celebrated yeah. with the giving and the present and the love and the lights and, uh, you know, that comes from, uh, from uh, Hanukkah, Christmas. But that was the, the teaching of Jesus that was to, uh, uh, to love and to, uh, you know, to, yeah. that was a God. We are celebrating Christmas, Hanukkah and Diwali all together. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. uh, for each and everyone. Merry Christmas, Merry Hanukkah, Merry Diwali. <laughs> Thank you. Now, anything else? Surya, you want to speak? You came late. No. <laughs> you want to speak something? Everybody spoke. Everybody yeah. 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 spoke on Christmas. Christmas. I always feel like after we have our Christmas celebration here that I've yes, celebrated yeah. Christmas, you know, because Christmas is, to me, is, uh, it is the coming of Christ, but you see it so much more, you know, when the children are doing the play and, uh, you know, offering offering of their selves and they're doing their different um, singing and also a Christmas tree. This year, I think I splurged and got a real Christmas tree. <laughs> it's been my dream for all these years, and uh, you know, so I've been enjoying it. Yeah, this stuff. tree is more beautiful than Lantana. <laughs> yeah. Lantana looks dry. Yeah. The, the tree is not happy. It's not a big tree. Yeah. Inside, <laughs> it looks <laughs> like a dry you know. Uh -huh. They cut them so early, yeah. So I mean, they cut them so early. No, they cut them every Thanksgiving. But we like it because it is ours. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Anybody else? No. Any questions, answers? Hmm. How many people were there? Did you take everybody's signature and guest book? That should have been done. Who brought this? There's another one up there. Who that guy brought? Oh. Who, who brought this? Morning. That's just a little. Let there be light. Blue. Okay. <laughs> Can I open it? Or? Oh, yeah. Okay. What is inside? Could you tell me? <laughs> I don't have eyes to see inside. It's for everybody. It's for everybody. Cookies? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little blank. Open it up. Open it up. Is Open it, up. it edible or what? No. Oh, what is it? You are psychic? Come and tell me. I know what it is. What is it? You open it. You open it. What is it? Open it. It looks so beautiful. I don't want to open it. It is. It is pretty. Why don't we cut the top off? That's the part I get wrapping things every year. There's nothing inside, but I love to wrap it. My friend said that I should get a job at Del Lindsay's wrapping. Yeah. 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 Yeah.